The weather could be worse, but I think we have pretty uh, good weather, all things considered, with the eight-month winter we've had so far. So um, I want to again welcome everyone. A uh, special welcome to uh, our special guests. Uh, we've got uh, Bill Menner with uh, USDA as well as Arnold Thomas. We've also got Home State Bank, Sid Jones here, uh, Unity Point Health, County Karloff and Sid Ramsey's office. Um, Iowa Hospital Association, Perry Meyer is here. I um, also want to uh, recognize some of our elected officials that are here. Uh, I believe Mike Palmer is here, uh, Mayor Barry, and then a number of city council members and county supervisors. So thank you all for coming out today. I'd also like to acknowledge uh, all of our employees for joining us today. Uh, what is really a historic event in the medical center history. Um, it's historic for many reasons. Uh, it's, this is the largest expansion and renovation project uh, the medical center has undertaken in its 77 year history. And it will significantly change the future of healthcare delivery in Greene County. Uh, the, our projects designated and designed around three principles of improving access, privacy, and efficiency. The project also takes into account many changes that are being made in healthcare across the country, uh, both in an increase in outpatient care delivery model and also in care coordination across many sites of service. The project allow, will allow us to be better prepared for emergency care that we deliver and provide throughout the community by moving our ER to a front and center location, uh, actually kind of more to the side here, but very visible uh, from all locations as you pull up to the building. I could go on a lot more about the project, but hopefully you can take a look at some of the pictures um, that are available uh, in the back there, as well as take advantage of the case statement that's on your seat or on the tables inside, uh, and take one of those with you and really uh, take a look at all the things that many people have come to put together for us here at the Medical Center. The planning of this project predates my arrival uh, from two years ago and taking into consideration the voices of our patients our employees and our providers. It has been a thorough and inclusive process. That's why the board hired and has worked with Stockton Facility Management as well as HGA engineers and architects. That's why we've also worked closely with the USDA and Home State Bank for our financing. And most of all, and most recently, Woodruff Construction has been awarded the contract uh, for the construction. I wanna acknowledge uh, some of these individuals now and if you could uh, stand and, and just be acknowledged, I appreciate it. Caleb Stockton from Stockton Facility Management has been working as the medical center's owner representation throughout the planning and construction process. Jennifer Clund with HGA Architects. Nick Grooms with Trinity Properties. Nick has been working with both HGA and Caleb uh, to work on all of our uh, budgeting process throughout. Woodruff Construction, I know we have a number of Woodruff Construction uh, folks here. Uh, Don Woodruff, uh, President and CEO of Woodruff Construction, as well as uh, Jason uh, Reckoner. We've got also uh, Dave O'Brien. Both of these gentlemen are regional presidents of Woodruff Construction. And then we have Jeff Roach and Tamson uh, Kirby, who will be uh, in charge of the site uh, while we go through this project. I also want to recognize Justin Tolan from b and I know John will have some words uh, for Justin, but I want to recognize Justin who is here today. All of this would not be possible uh, without the public uh, electing the Board of Trustees uh, that we have who are forward-thinking and actively involved in the Medical Center's well-being. I'd like to introduce now Jim Sleishman, Chairperson of the Board at this time. Welcome to everyone that is here. Thank you for coming. As Carl mentioned, the hospital here opened in the early, or excuse me, the late 30s, some 75 years ago. And as he has mentioned, that this is by far the largest expansion since that time. There have been many, many expansions, many remodelings since that time. The Board of Trustees has worked very hard with Carl and the building team to assure that this project will take the Medical Center far into the future. The Foundation Board is working very hard with the cap campaign and the steering committee at this time to secure uh, funds for immediate projects 
and, and projects and equipment and things in the future. Uh, at this time, I would like to recognize uh, the foundation board and also the hospital board of directors. The foundation board, if you would rise so people can see who you are, uh, Doug Hahn, who is uh, chairman of the foundation board, Tori Riley, Bill Rainey, Mark Parker, Joel Carsons, Cheryl Shear, and Aaron Schroeder. You can see a couple of those. Uh, the hospital board of directors, Dave Hoyt, Doug Hahn, Kim Bates, Ralph Reed Hazel, Judy Sanka, and Bill Rainey. And I thank you all very much for coming to this historic event of your medicine. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Another key component to this project and moving forward with the medical center is our capital campaign. We are fortunate to have a strong steering committee working diligently in helping the medical center raise $4 million. Our co-chairs are familiar faces in the community and would like to welcome and bring up John Gherkin and Rick Moraine. Thank you, Carl. I'm not Vinny from Detroit. <laughs> Six hours ago, in that facility, I had a cataract removed. 13 minutes is all it took, in and out. Staff, highly professional. I was born in this facility in 1941, four years after it was built. And when both of us reached over 70 years of age, it's time for some renovation. <laughs> that's what I had, and that's what we're going to have then. The hospital's also going to undergo expansion, and I don't need any of that. <laughs> uh, John and I have been asked to speak on behalf of the, of the Capital Campaign Steering Committee. A $4 million capital campaign is a huge undertaking, and we're so grateful to the members of the steering committee and to the many donors who have already contributed to the project. Uh, both, both Carl and Jim are, are right when they talk about the historic nature of this, uh, of this project. It's a huge undertaking and it's very necessary for this county. In order to attract good staff to the facility, uh, in order to attract good people to the community, you have to keep the quality of life at a high level. And that's what this project will do. John and I are so grateful to all of you for being here today and to the many donors, past and future, we hope, who will help contribute to this project. Thank you very much. For our guests outside of Greene County, I would want to point out that Rick Marine is quite an accomplished pianist. So this might be Greene County's version of Ray Charles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm certainly pleased to serve with Rick as co-chair of the Investing in Tomorrow's Care, the capital campaign for the Medical Center. And Rick and I are privileged to work with a great group of people from around Greene County who formed the steering committee. Well, I know some were not able to be here today. I do want to certainly introduce them, ask them to stand. And because Rick and I are still needing a lot of work out of these people, we'd like to recognize them with well-deserved applause at the end. <laughs> the committee, Kim Bates, Mary Jane Fields, Sid Jones, Gary Von Ozen, Jamie Dobbendeck, Kevin Fitzpatrick, Dr. Steve Carver, John Muir, Bill Rainey, and Jan Sherrington. Thanks very much to the steering committee. And certainly the steering committee, Rick and myself, are depending, depending greatly on outside help. Uh, Justin Tolan from MENV, and also inside help, Holly Roberts. Uh, we really appreciate what the role that they are playing in this as well. As Rick said, the goal of this campaign is to raise $4 million. That probably is the largest 
travel campaign attempt in Greene County. We are over 61% towards that goal with nearly two and a half million dollars and, and dollars in hand or in, in pledges uh, received already. So we had a wonderful kickstart with an anonymous two million dollar gift. What a wonderful addition It'll, it will help uh, with Greene County. There's other wonderful le leadership gifts received already and including $102,000 from the Greene County Medical Center employees. That's a real, real Every dollar in donation pledge benefits all of us in so many ways. Patient privacy, easier access, a more up-to-date modern facility. The importance of today's groundbreaking and what it really means to Greene County to me is underscored by the distance many of us travel to attend, blocks or minutes. That's what we need for, for, for our local medical community to offer that kind of care and be so close at hand. Having quality medical care so close is vital in times of emergency, and it's truly appreciated when it makes it much easier to visit and comfort family members and friends. Prior generations have invested in our medical center that we might have access to quality health care. It's up to our generation now to ensure that same level of medical service continues available for us and future residents of Green County. That is why invest the investing in tomorrow's care campaign is so important to each of us and why we urge everyone to consider how you can help. Today represents a big day for the medical center and for Green County and the surrounding area. The capital campaign allows each of us the opportunity to participate in a very personal way. We look forward to your support. Thank you. Thank you, John and Rick. And I know you were scheduled, John, for a procedure as well today, but I had a conference call, so you couldn't uh, get yours in. So we'll work on that. Now, the reason that we're gathered here today is to help Woodruff Construction move some dirt. So there will be a lot of changes to this very spot in the coming months. Let's take uh, this historic moment, and we've asked that uh, others help us break the ground. We'll be, uh, I'm going to ask the Board of Trustees as well as our USDA representatives and Caleb to come forward first. Next we'll have the Foundation Board, HGA, and our contractors from Woodruff, and then the Steering Committee, and finally Executive and executive Team and Building Team. Uh, if the Chamber Ambassadors would then come up next, I think we will have moved enough dirt for Woodruff uh, to probably be done a day or two early on the project. <laughs> After the ceremonial portion of the program, you're all invited to join us inside the main lobby uh, where there will be warm. We'll also have warm coffee and refreshments. Thank you all for being here today. I uh, look forward to you joining us here with this last section, and then we'll see you inside. Thank you.